and then it's time for another Four Looks One palette. For this one, I'm going to be doing a very special palette, at least near and dear to my heart. It's a palette that I actually created with Camp Cosmetics. And what I mean by created is I sat in this makeup room and I played with all the different shades that I had in my collection and I played Mad Scientist and it really created shades that I wanted in this palette. Um, I combined other shadows together and I, I just, I really, I, I put a lot of love, heart, and soul into this palette, and so I hope that you guys like it as much as I do. Um, and I, this was definitely requested by those of you that already purchased the palette. There still are some available. It is a limited time, um, a limited edition palette. I will talk about all the things that come in the palette throughout the video, and I'll show it again. So having said all of that, let's go ahead and get started. If you're wondering, I did kind of switch positions. I am working on dealing with it being completely dark outside in the morning when I'm filming. I think it's about quarter to six right now so I'm just kind of adjusting things again it happens every year I have to move things around so at any rate again this is the angel eyes palette and the shades that I use today I have two by the way I have the one that I've been working in and then I have this pretty one so I'm going to show you the pretty one <laughs> as I go throughout so what I wanted to do today is play with this beautiful um, Merlot let me turn this light up a little bit so you can see I find that if I have too much light, it kind of washes out the colors on my eyes, but so just a beautiful wine burgundy color. I have that all over my lid, except for kind of that very inner third, not even inner third, inner quarter maybe. And then on that inner quarter, I actually combined this taupe and champagne together and used that on the inner corner. I blended out the crease with the taupe shade. I have the champagne just underneath my brow bone. And then what I did for liner today is I used the Marc Jacobs Blacker on my upper waterline. And then on my upper lash line, I actually just took a wet liner brush and I put it into this color and just a little bit of the brown. I just, I didn't want such a stark liner on that upper line. I just wanted to give it just a little bit more definition. So I will go ahead and zoom you in. All right, so here's the look. I have a feeling that because I'm closer to the clock that I have in here now and I'm zooming in, you guys are going to be able to really, and not talking, you're going to really be able to hear the, the tick tock of the, of the clock. Okay, so throughout the video I will be using the same blush and lipstick, although I'm going to try to kind of adjust the lipstick here and there. Um, so the blush that I'm using is the blush that comes in the collection and it is the blush in Delightful, which I did get to name myself. <laughs> Camp Cosmetics named the palette and the lipstick, but I named the blush Delightful. And then on my lips today, I did use the lipstick in I can't even. So I will show you what I did, and I'll give you swatches of everything again at the end. What I did with this, though, is I just put it on almost like a stain and really kind of just sheared it out a little bit. And then I used a Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie, and this is the one in Shining Star over the top of it, just to give it a little bit of shine this time. The second look, I went ahead and did the look that I do most often with this palette, believe it or not, um, and that is just a very, what I would call like a clean, a clean neutral eye. I, that's just what I call it. I, I don't know. Um, but like bright, there's some brightness to it. So I use this shade right here all over my eye and then in the crease on a fluffy brush I use the taupe like a transition color and then just deepen things up with the brown very very simple I also use the brown beneath my lower lash line and use the same brown on a wet liner brush brush on my upper waterline as well as my upper lash line so I will zoom you in all right so here's the look For blush, of course, I use the same blush, the one that comes in the collection in Delightful, which of course looks like this. It will be the same all four days. And then today for the lips, I just went straight on, just the lipstick, no liner, no gloss, no anything, and that is what that looks like. For my third look, I did another sort of soft look, but kicked up a notch, so to speak. So I used the taupe all over my lid on a flat, like, lay down brush, and then I used that taupe in the crease as well, just a little bit kind of use it as a transition color again. I used this brown to define the crease and kind of really deep in that crease. And then I used this olive green wet on a liner brush to do sort of a little babyish wing going on out here. And then I took the cranberry beneath my lower lash line and kind of met up with that olive green. And then I took a white liner brush, which helps if you're using kind of a red underneath your 
lash line or you know close to your eyes if you use a white a white liner on your lower waterline it'll help to not make your eyes look red you know otherwise it can accentuate the red so I did that and I think that's everything so let me zoom in so here's the look I also use that champagne up underneath my brow bone I do, of course, has the, have the same blush in the kit as, as I have used the other two days. But the one thing that I want to tell you is, after I put the blush on, then on, a, on that same blush brush, I kind of went across the, the champagne bone sort of shade here and have that underneath, on, underneath, no, on my cheekbone. And it really just kind of, you know, adds a little bit of highlight, as you can see, a little bit of glow. Uh, and then I have the lipstick, just normal, full on, no liner. Today I have plans for it with a gloss tomorrow. For my fourth and final look, I did um, this look I've done a couple of times, and it's an olive, smoky, kind of deep, a little more dramatic <laughs> eye. So what I did was first I took a, fluff, a fluffy brush like this, and I mixed together these two shades right here. So the brown and the taupe, I mixed those two together, and I put that down in the crease just to lighten up the brown a little bit. Um, and use that like as, as a transition color. So then I just all over the lid went in with the olive green. And then I just deepened out the outer corner just a little bit and into the crease with the brown. I took that olive green beneath my lower lash line as well. And then just on the outer corner again, I used the brown. And underneath my brow bone, just at the very top, and or actually not underneath my brow bone, underneath my brow, <laughs> I used the champagne right here. So I will zoom you in and then we'll come back and talk about the other okay, thing. Okay, so here's the look. liner today on the upper lash line I used the pixie um, eye silky pen pen silky whatever in black on my upper lash line to smudge that out and then on my upper waterline and lower waterline I used the Marc Jacobs blacker and I try to say this every time what works best for me when I do it on my lower lash line is to put the liner there first and then put whatever shadow I'm going to be using kind of you know, right up on the edge, almost over the top of it. It just, I help, I feel like it helps blend that line a little bit. For so blush, of course, I have the same blush in Delightful. And then uh, for my lips today, I have the lipstick in the I Can't Even, as per all the other three days. <laughs> but what I did was I took the lip gloss. This is one that I've talked about over and over again and used over and over again. You can see this is the true color of the lip gloss. This is what's happened to it because I've used it so many times. <laughs> But anyway, this is in Trist, so that is, <laughs> that's more what the lip gloss is supposed to look so like. Very quickly, the items that I used throughout the whole video, which I try to remember to do at the end of every Four Looks One video. For foundation, I used the Born This Way foundation all four days. For powder, oops, I put that over here. I used the Smashbox Photo Filter Powder in number two. For bronzer, I'm still doing it. I'm still, I'm still trucking on with this bronzer, you guys. But look. This is the Guerlain Bronzer, Terracotta 00 Nude. Um, for concealer, on any blem or any you know kind of dark spots on my face, I use the Tarte concealer, and I'm using the Rimmel Match Perfection underneath my eyes. And mascara, all four days, I use Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. And then just today, I had it on my lower lash line, and I used the Clinique Lash Power. So that is yeah, Lash Power Mascara. That's what I use on my lower lash line. And for brows, I use the Catrice in Date with Ashton. So since this was my collab, I have some pictures of the of swatches and things that I took and put on Instagram. So I will go ahead and insert those here as I am talking. As you can see by the swatches, the shade in the middle is the is the only true matte, which is that nice brown shade. However, the cranberry or merlot or whatever blackberry, <laughs> whatever you want to call it on the end, that one, while it has some sheen to it, on the eye that performs as a matte, um, if you, it's actually a satin finish, but the nice thing about that is that it will, you know, being a satin versus a matte enables it to blend just a little bit better. Um, and then the other ones all have some sheen to them. But, you know, as you can see, it's not, I don't think it's overly shimmery. I really... You know, as I said, I, I, I put my heart and soul into this palette and that included, you know, working on some of the finishes as well. I really hope that this was helpful for those of you that wanted to see the Four Looks One palette with this, with this, this palette. Um, and again, there are, there are still some available. It's a limited edition. I don't know how many are left, but there are some available. You can call, email, or order online. I will have all of that information listed below for you if you are interested. Again, here's another shot. I'll show you the... I was showing you the one I worked in before. This is the pretty one. <laughs> um, and so it comes with all, 
the palette, it does have a little brush in there as well. I don't have that in there right now. The blush and then the lipstick all sells for $69.50. I will list that below. Um, yeah, I think that that is everything. I love and appreciate each and every one of you. Your support means the world to me, whether it's in a view or if it's in a purchasing something I have created or a thumbs up or a comment. I, I just I appreciate everything that you guys do. Um, and just, just thank you for being here. I love you guys and I will talk to you very soon. Bye.